it's about money, but ultimately it's about love and the transformational power of love. It's an opera in three acts by a British house with a libretto by Hoffmann Stahl. And the three acts are very different. Act one is very conversational. Act two is full of comedy, buffo and beautiful walls. And act three has got the most amazing music with the final trio at the end. So it's got a real mixture of like a play, like comedy and sumptuous music. Octavian is 17 years old. He is impulsive but honest young man. He's very true, he's very real in his emotions. There's a wide range of directing skills required from um, telling the story in a very romantic way to buffo comedy and physical comedy uh, to uh, just have a good conversation, something like a play. So it's, it's very re rewarding. Tricky, but very, very rewarding. There is the challenge, just acting-wise, of the fact that Octavian in the first act, um, in, for fear of getting caught, gets dressed up as Mariandel, so a woman playing a man uh, who then dresses up as a woman. So it's, it's quite the acting challenge. But uh, Octavian gets extraordinary music to sing. He gets to go on very beautiful and different journeys throughout the piece. It's very subtle. It's like a very fine champagne. It fizzes, it, it bubbles, it's, it's not um, something coarse. But also, we have a chorus of 24. Um, we have many, many principles. It's a really big opera, um, yet very fun, very subtle, big emotions, love. It's timeless. I think Strauss's music will carry people away. It's not an opera that you get to see all the time. And together with Bruno's production, it will just be a feast for the eyes and also for the ears. I think people need to come and see it.